Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, and today I have for you part 12 of our 2D side scroller tutorial. In this part, what we're going to do is go ahead and make a pause menu for our character so we can go back to the main menu that we created in part 11, or just straight up quit the game. It'll also have the option to save game that'll be put in there, so when we do the saving and loading system in a later part of the series, we'll be able to go ahead and link all of these menus together. So the first thing we're going to do, just like last time, is hop down into that widgets folder that we created long, long ago. In the menus folder, we're going to go ahead and create a new widget blueprint user interface called uh, pause menu. So we'll just call it pause menu. Inside of pause menu, what we're going to want to do is open up an item called the border. So go ahead in the palette search and type in border. So we're going to go ahead and drag a border into the menu here. Drag this border so that it fills in the top left corner, drags down to the bottom right corner. So what we're going to do with this border is we're going to go ahead and go to the appearance tab on the right. So you see appearance here. In our brush, what we want to do is go ahead and change the color of this. So under brush, tint, this option right here. We have our different options for colors that we can pick. If we click this uh, white bar right here, this white bar, we can change the tint of this. I'm going to change it towards a grayscale. And then I'm also going to drop the alpha channel tremendously. We're talking to like 0.33 probably should be good. So if I type 0.33 in the alpha channel. So what this is going to do is basically gray the screen. So the player is still going to be able to see their character, but it's going to gray the screen. What we're going to do is we're going to have it so when the player clicks the, clicks the pause button, it pauses the entire game and there's a grayed screen and they can see everything around, but they can't really quite make out what's going on. You know what I mean? Like a typical pause menu in any game you've ever seen. So next thing we're going to need to do is add another vertical box. So type in vertical box and spell it correctly because apparently I can't spell under the panel menu over here. Drag the vertical box onto the screen. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't appear to be showing up. Oh, because it uh, ties to the border. So we want to drag it off of the border and put it on the canvas panel. Now we can see it. So the vertical box is going to be in the dead center of the screen, and we're going to center it like that. And we want to make sure that we anchor both of these. So click on each of them, go to the anchors option, and anchor them to the center. We want these both to be anchored to the center of the screen. It also helps us to see where the center of the screen actually is, so we can get it set up. So there we go. We've got our vertical box centered. Inside the vertical box, just like before in the last episode, we're going to add three buttons. So add three buttons, type in B-U-T-T-O-N to spell button, and drop those into the uh, vertical box that we created. Once again, go ahead and shift click on all of these, or click, select all the buttons, and center them uh, via fill. So under the layout option, you'll have the size option, you can go ahead and click fill. That will fill the buttons all up in there. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and add a text uh, little option here. Text into each of these, so drag a text option into each of them. And what we're going to do is have uh, our three options. So the first one, the first text block, and we go up to here where it says context text. Uh, we're going to go ahead and type in resume. Then we're going to have save. And we're going to have quit. So now we have our three button options set up and all good to go. So what we want to do with resume, when we click on resume, so click on the resume button, scroll down to the bottom and on clicked. So when we go ahead and hit the resume button, what we want to do is set game paused, which we haven't done yet, but you'll understand. So I've been set game paused and that is going to be false, which means just don't check the button. And the other thing we're going to do is remove from parent. So we just want to remove this widget from the parent. So whenever we click resume, we're going to go ahead and have that happen. It's basically going to unpause the game and remove the widget from the parent. If we go back to the designer tab in the top left, click the quick button, quit button. We're going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom where we get the on clicked option. And when we click this button, all we want to do is quit game. So go ahead and drag off quit game. Once again, you don't need to change anything there. You're all set and good to go on that. So now we have our pause menu widget all set up. We're going to drag that onto here and go back to our level. Now from the 2D side scroller character, so under character, 2D side scroller character, what we need to do is add another uh, little action here. So what I'm going to do is have this be the pause menu, and I'm just going to have that be on the P key. So once again, right click and type in P key onto the keyboard. Uh, into the search box here, and we're going to look for the P on our keyboard. So scroll until we find P on the keyboard. There it is. So we have our P button on our keyboard. When we press the keyboard, what we uh, the P key on the keyboard, what we want to do is create widget. And the widget we want to create is our pause menu widget that we went ahead and made a couple seconds ago. Next, we want to do is add to viewport. We want to add that to our viewport. And we also want to be able to show the mouse cursor. So if we type in show mouse cursor, and we have to uncheck that context sensitive once again, set show mouse cursor to true. So we want to be able to click on stuff when we do that. Once again, we need to get player controller because I always seem to forget this. Get player controller, get player controller, there it is. Get the player controller and drag that node into this option here, compile and save. So now what's going to happen if we hit the play button, we're going to go ahead and hit the P key, which is going to bring up our menu. 
and then we can uh, click on any one of these buttons. So we can go ahead and click resume, and that will remove the thing from the widget, but our mouse is still up. So we need to get rid of that somehow, and to do that we need to head back to the pause menu. We need to go back to the resume button, and we need to edit its on clicked. So what we want to do with this button after we click it is we want to go ahead and drag off. I'm going to do the show mouse cursor, and we go ahead and uncheck the context sensitive. Set show mouse cursor to false. So go ahead and compile and save that. And then once again, get your get player controller off of this menu here, off the search menu, drag that into the node right there to go ahead and set that up. So now it's gonna show our mouse cursor when we click it or stop showing it, unpause the game and start it up. Going back to the 2D side scroller character, the other thing that I forgot to do is we need to set the game paused. So drag off of this final node here and type in set game paused, drop the set game paused node in there and we wanna go ahead and pause it. So now if we go ahead and hit play, and if we jump up into the air and hit P, you'll see the screen grays a little bit, the game pauses, our cursor shows up. When we click resume, the cursor goes away and the game unpauses. So we can go ahead and hit pause. It pauses, the cursor is back up on the screen. We can go ahead and hit any one of these buttons here. If we hit quit, it quits the game. So yeah, basically uh, we have our functioning pause menu. Now the only other thing you could do is instead of quitting, if you wanted it to quit to the main menu, um, instead of just straight up quitting the game, so the quit button here, if we wanted to say quit to main menu, we could go ahead and click on the quit button, go to the graph and uh, take a look at this quit game option. So all we'd wanna do is open the level instead. So open level and the level we wanna open is title. Uh, that is our title level that we've created. So if we go ahead and compile and save that, hit play, go ahead and hit pause. And if we go to quit and click quit, it goes ahead and opens us back up to the 2D platformer title that we created. Go ahead and hit uh, new game and we stop back into the main menu where we're just at. We can quit out to the main menu here, go ahead and click quit. It all works, it's all set up, our two menus interact with each other, and we are good to go. So anyway guys, that is it for this video. If you did like the video, make sure to leave a like, check out some of the other videos in this series, stay subscribed so you can get updates whenever new parts to this series comes out. And as always, thank you so much for watching, I will see you at the next video. Peace.